Hi there and welcome to this lesson. In today's lesson I'd like to show you a really cool falling off pattern that you can use over major 7th chords, minor 7th chords and dominant 7th chords. Um, this is a, a really nice way to unleash kind of a Lydian sound over major chords because sometimes, let's face it, when we're improvising just over a major 7th chord, you know, we can play a C major scale and we can play things um, from that. sound nice but sometimes you want a little bit of bite and the Lydian note the sharp 4 or sharp 11 is a really good way to add some crunch into your improvisation so that's what I'm going to show you in today's class now before I begin I've just got to say that if you are new to jazz guitar and you want a structured method that will help you get started then please check out my beginner jazz guitar guide. I've listed and linked to this in the video description. It's a completely free PDF. It's got 60 odd pages, downloadable MP3 examples, and that will help you get started on your jazz guitar journey. So if you could do that and, and check that out if you're new, then I'd uh, really appreciate that. So let's get on with this pattern. Okay, so the actual four note shape is just this. It starts on a C, then we go to an E note, and then we go to an F sharp and then a B. So over a C major seventh chord, what you have here is the root, the third, the sharp 11, and then the major seventh chord. You can actually play this as a chord, and it gives you a beautiful voicing for C Lydian, C major seven, sharp 11. So once again, C, E natural, F sharp, and B natural. So it's really just a Lydian arpeggio really root three um, sharp eleven then seven but of course it really gets to the sound of that chord quickly a Lydian scale is great but there's a lot of notes in there which don't necessarily sound just like Lydian whereas with this you know you've got kind of the key ingredients of the major seven sharp eleven flavour. Alright so let's check out then the actual uh, licks that you can do with this to kind of get this into your playing. So one lick it's just a little pattern, they're both kind of pattern licks really, but this first one I guess is a bit simpler and what we've got here is a little quarter note followed by two eighth note pattern and it sounds like this. Once again. So that's the first one right there, so I'm going quarter note on B and then F sharp to B to eighth notes, then coming back to F sharp. Same thing between F sharp and E, and then finishing on a C natural right there. So that's the first pattern. Sometimes um, a little variation that I like to do on this is I like to add the ninth, 10th fret on the um, high E string, which is also cool, but if you want to stick with the pattern, then you can just use these four notes here. All right, so that's the first one. The second pattern um, sounds a bit like this. I'm going to use the lower register of this um, this little shape here. So that's the same notes, C natural, E natural, F sharp, B. Okay, the same four notes are right there. And I can do the same thing, but I'm going to start with a B natural this time, so. And that's the pattern in the lower octave. Time. And you can really kind of start and finish this wherever you like. I like to start on the B natural, the major seventh, because it um, has kind of a sweeter sound, um, I think, starting right there on the major seventh. So I'll play it one more time a bit slower. Of course, that way, when I played it, then I went all the way up the arpeggio. So I'll play that once again slowly. Going up the full arpeggio, starting on the B natural, so. Try it one more time. Okay, and that's how it sounds going through kind of the full arpeggio, starting on the B. And that's both 
patterns together. Okay, so there, there's a tool, two licks or two patterns that you can use within that shape to instantly get it in your playing. So the cool thing about this shape is that it can become different things. If you play a C bass note on that, then obviously it's a C major seven. Now, what you can do with this is you can treat this as kind of like an A Dorian chord as well. Uh, kind of a very modal sounding chord. Of course, against an A, there's the root, the C is the third, the E natural is the uh, fifth, the F sharp is then the natural sixth, and then the B is the ninth. So you're, getting, you're not really getting a Lydian sound with this, but by using it against the relative minor, a different effect but it's still kind of a cool sound um, and it gets you away just from playing the typical Dorian runs and things that you would do when you're playing over A minor. So the second application is playing that over an A minor. The last application is seeing this as some kind of um, D chord, a D ninth chord. Okay and obviously D seven is the five that goes with, if, if you're treating A minor as a two chord then D seven is the five that goes with that um, and of course against that seven nine three and then thirteen okay so those licks also sound good against that as well all right, so there is the, the shape, and that's three different chords that you can use it over. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you did, then I have, I have um, 50 more licks just like this. I have a, an ebook called 50 Essential Jazz Guitar Licks, which I'm also going to list and link in the below. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this lick, there's many other licks like that um, in that book, which you can check out, and that obviously helps support these videos as well. So thanks for watching and um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, but if not, I'll see you in the next class. Cheers.